I feel like sometimes the Disney Store releases are overlooked, so I wanted to make this video to kind of bring attention to these new carnival racers, Lightning McQueen and Jeff Gorbett from the Disney Store. In my opinion, they look amazing. This Lightning McQueen here looks better than the Mattel one, at least for me personally, the Jeff Gorbett. Not so much, but still, he's a very, very nice release. So I'm very happy to be making this video of these two brand new Disney Store releases. These are, in fact, the newest cars that the Disney Store has released. I just found them a couple weeks ago at the Disney Store, obviously, and a couple weeks before that, when I was on vacation in Las Vegas, Nevada, I found the first two carnival racers that the Disney Store had released. Shoe to the Roki and Carlo Veloso. Don't worry, I will review these in a future video, but honestly, I just found McQueen and Jeff to be more attractive and just better in my opinion, so I wanted to review them first. And now I also have a lot of other Disney Store releases I still have to review, such as those carbon racers you can see in the background there, Max Schnell and Lightning McQueen, and a few of the artist series, including the Chip Foo's artist series that includes some very patriotic cars. I cannot wait to review these, and I will. Trust me, eventually I'll get around to reviewing them, but Let's start here with Carnival Racer McQueen and Jeff Gorvet. Now Mattel did make Lightning McQueen and Jeff Gorvet as Carnival Racers in about February of this year. And if you'd like to see my review of them, you can check out the video in the description below. There's a link to it in the related video section. I will compare these two Disney Store releases to their Mattel counterparts later on in the video. But for now, let's just take a look at each of their packaging. So first off with McQueen, we got the Disney Store logo, the Cars logo up top, three and older, and some nice colorful background. You can see that this is in the Chaser series, along with Jeff and the other two Carnival Racers, Carla, and shoe to the Roki. The carbon racers you see in the background there, Max and McQueen, are not in the Chaser series though. That logo, the silver one, just says carbon racers. I know they're very similar, so I wanted to distinguish that they're actually different. Now, I don't really care for this whole idea of Chaser series because in reality, they're not that rare. And if you guys don't know, Chasers or Chaser series cars are meant to be rarer than typical releases, but like I said, in reality, they're not that rare at all. I still see like 10 of these, 10 of them, probably even more, sitting on the shelf. So it's a little deceiving for people who only buy these because they think that they're rare. I'm sorry to say they're not that rare. On the side here, it does signify that these cars are Carnival Cup racers. And on the back, it does have the Transcontinental Race of Champions logo. Now, if you were wondering, these sell for $6.95 in the USA, and in Canada, apparently they sell for a dollar more. Now, there used to be this deal where if you bought two of these Disney Store singles, you would get them for $6 each instead of $6.95 each, but if you only bought one, you had to pay $6.95, but that deal is no longer in effect. You have to pay $6.95 for each of them. It's terrible. Now, a couple years ago, all Disney Store singles were sold in acrylic cases like this one here, but nowadays, only the Artist Series cars are sold in acrylic cases. We got downgraded Disney Store, come on, we have to put up with these plastic cases, but I do have to say, the Lightyear handlebar is pretty cool, but in all honesty, we just keep getting downgraded because now, 
we have to pay $6.95 for each of them, which in my opinion is a little overpriced. $6 was, you know, a decent deal for two and above, but now $6.95 for each and every one that you pay, I don't know, it's a little bit much for me, but I guess they still have my money, so I really shouldn't be complaining. That's all I have to say about it. So now let me take these two out of the package and we'll take a look at them in closer detail. There is no doubt in my mind that this is the worst thing about the Disney store. I hate these things so much. I mean, look, here's what the knot looks like. How on earth are you supposed to untangle that? It's so small. So that leaves you with about one option being cutting the wire. And when you're cutting the wire, you're at risk of scraping the car. And that's exactly what I did to poor Lightning McQueen here. I don't even want to look at it, but I'll show you guys so you know to be careful when opening these cars up. There, you see the bare metal. And that's another thing. The paint on these Disney Store cars come off so easily, but I do understand the Disney store wants to make sure that these cars are not easily stolen. And I have to say, congrats, you've accomplished that. They're not easy to get out of the package, but maybe you can use string or something or tape. I mean, come on. I have to say, I do not care for these wire bracket things at all. But disregarding that, let's get on with the review here of Lightning McQueen and Jeff Gorvat in their Carnival Racer paint job so i guess we'll start with jeff corvette because he's actually my least favorite from the disney store i do like his expression though. i mean it's decent not as good as mcqueen's but i do bring that up because the expression on disney store cars are not always the best and on jeff here it's all right not the best not the worst but he does have the corvette logo there on his hood he does have these nice silver details on his hood there as well which the Mattel one does not have. I'll just be comparing the Mattel Carnival Racer Jeff to the Disney Store one while we're looking at him. The decals are about the same, just bigger, obviously, on the Disney Store one. It looks like the rims are gray on the Disney Store version versus being black on the Mattel one. Let's take an up-close look at the decals here. We got Corvette. I love that reflective foil design of the 24 number there. We got the Carnival Cup logo over here on the left. His typical American flag. On the roof, another shiny foil logo there. Very, very nice. I love that. And on a spoiler, it's got a nice glitter scheme going to it with the Carnival Cup text on it. 24 on either side. And on the back window, it does say JG with the American flag, obviously standing for Jeff Gorvet. Now, one interesting thing is that on the Mattel version, it's actually flipped. We have the American flag first and then the initials, whereas on the Disney Store version, it's the other way around. So that's kind of interesting. There's a spoiler on the Mattel version for comparison. It looks like the Disney Store one has 
gold or bronze outlining around the text, whereas the Mattel one has silver outlining. On the back here, looks to be about the same. The Disney store did not make the mistake of including Powered by All in All. That was a terrible mistake on the Mattel one because obviously he's not using All in All anymore. That company is dead. But other than that, the decals are exactly the same, just bigger on the Disney Store version, obviously. And here's the base on the Disney Store version here. Disney Pixar, made in China, and some other information there. It is put together using screws, so theoretically you could take him apart, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing so because not many people have tried doing that with Disney Store cars, so there is just less knowledge about it. Now before we move on to McQueen, I just want to show the regular Jeff Gore vet from the Disney Store so you can kind of see the differences and similarities. The lights up front are actually painted on now instead of being plastic inserts there. Expression is basically the same, a little different though. And obviously the paint jobs are very, very different. Up next is Mr. McQueen. Now I forgot to mention that both of these do have a matte finish instead of being glossy like your typical Jeff Corvette here. So you can see how the light kind of reflects off the paint there but on the carnival ones it doesn't reflect so much because it's a matte finish now getting to lightning mcqueen here let me pull out the mattel one so you can compare side by side now this is a pretty big concept here to grasp so i have to explain it in a good way i'm not really that good at explaining things but here we go so the first wave of carnival racers for mattel included this version of Lightning McQueen. He had orange tires and a partially orange spoiler, as you can see. Now, in the second wave of Carnival Racers for Mattel that just hit Target stores in the USA, that includes a bunch of new racers like Rip, Miguel, Nigel, Lewis, and Max, there is a variant Lightning McQueen, meaning that's different than the one from wave one. Its difference is that it has yellow tires and a semi partial yellow spoiler. Hey, there he is right there. So yes, this Disney Store version better reflects the Carnival Lightning McQueen in the second wave of Carnival Racers for Mattel rather than the one from wave one. Now I hope that made sense. It'll probably make more sense when I have all three to compare. I have the Disney Store yellow one to compare to the Mattel orange and yellow one. But I have not found the second wave of Carnival Racers for Mattel yet. But when I do, I'll review all of them and hopefully compare all three in that video. Now most people who have found the most recent wave have only bought the new racers like Rip and Max and Nigel and left the Variant McQueen behind. So either they don't care about the Variant or they don't know about the Variant. So I do want to inform you guys that the new second wave Lightning McQueen in the Carnival Racer series is different from the one released earlier this year. So check your Target stores. Maybe you'll be lucky enough to find the second wave. I honestly cannot wait to find them. It's been long enough. So now let's get right into review here of Mr. McQueen and Mr. Mini McQueen, actually the Mattel version and the Disney Store version. So first up, we can see the Hudson Horn and Piston Cup logo on the hood there with the silver outlining and a little bit of glitter in there as well. Very, very nice and similar to the Mattel one. I really, really have to say that this Disney Store version is just stunning. I highly recommend that you pick it up. On the side here, it says Lightning McQueen with that 95 foil deco design, whatever you want to call it. It just looks great. The great design is what I'll refer to it as. We have the Transcontinental Race of Champions logo, the Carnival Cup logo, and McQueen's typical racing bolt, starting with yellow and fading into a reddish orange. 
Here we have another difference between the two. As you can see on the Mattel one, the Bolt is the same throughout, whereas on the Disney Store one, it's yellow at first, and then orange slash red in the back. You can also see that the tires are definitely a different color, and on the Disney Store version, it says Lightyear on them, which is supposed to on the Mattel one, but they left out that detail, unfortunately. Now going on to the spoiler here, both have 95 on either side of the spoiler, but the color is way, way different. As you can see, the text is different, the background is different, and it's a different spoiler itself, not just the decal as well. Now moving on to the back here, looks to be about the same, just bigger decals with the Carnival Cop, the American Flag, 95, Lightning McQueen, and the Carnival Cup logo. Here's the base of McQueen if you're interested. Nothing too special on here at all. Now we have to talk about two more differences real quick. They're very, very small, but definitely worth talking about. So, as you can see on the side here, the Carnival Disney Store version here has Lightning McQueen's signature on both roof edges. The Mattel version does not. Another thing that the Mattel version does not have is this logo that has the American flag and McQueen's initials being LMQ. Now, it doesn't show up that well because the dark red blends in with the gray, but it is there. Pretty clear actually if you see it in person, but on the camera it kind of darkens everything out. Mattel left that detail out entirely. And now one more thing about the Disney Store version here before we wrap the video up is that I absolutely love, I just love this number on the roof here. 95, the foil design again. I just love how it like reflects the light and sparkles. Just fantastic. Disney Store, you did a fantastic job on McQueen. He is by far my favorite carnival racer out of all four that we looked at today. Even the other two, Carla and Shuna. You might disagree with me, like, RC Cars 5, how could you like McQueen more than the other racers? Well, the Disney Store just did a phenomenal job with him. So that's all for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you very much for watching. And stay tuned for Friday of this week because I'll be uploading my first ever review entirely spoken in Spanish. So I'm pretty excited to record and upload that video. So I'll see you guys on Thursday first though for another suggestion video. See you guys then. Bye now.